Hey guys, welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post for them where I've just realised that, oh yeah, look at that, that for some reason in F5 zone, uh, mode, I don't get to see the stuff in my drawers, unless we're pushing it up through the roof? I don't know what's going on there, something very strange indeed. But last time we were working on this nice building up here, oh, night time approaches, maybe we will have a sleep, uh, but we ran out of cobble. Well, we were running out of cobble production, and we did manage to get this igneous extruder running back here. But unfortunately, it fills up and it stops going, and then I have to come along and click it, click to get it back out again. So that's no good. So my first plan for today is to try and make one of these augmented summonings. This definitely is something that needs to be done because, as I say, we need to start getting this empty out of here. Uh, my second plan for today involve something downstairs let's go and have a look you remember that we started this pumpkin quest well i can very uh, happily inform you that the pumpkin has uh, uh, grown now so we can get in there and open this up quest complete all right we're going to claim ourselves a reward now i think we're going to go for the hearts because this is the only thing that we can't actually make you know pumpkin cheesecake pumpkin bread i mean these are all nice but we have access to pumpkin now so i'm going to take the core of the heart I think I'm also going to put this on my head. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Isn't it amazing? Uh, how do I change the faces on here? I, th I believe that's actually a thing. And if it is a thing, is it a thing that I can take advantage of for my face? Uh, let's have a look in here. Pop that in there. Is that a thing? It is. All right. Well, which one looks like me? I don't know. Uh, these guys are all sad. I don't think we want the sad guys. I think this one here will be the one that I want to use. Uh, let's come back in here and have a look. Oh, it's so good. Oh, will you look at that? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Okay, we're keeping hold of that. Uh, and I can actually walk around and see what's going on. Uh, that, that's, that's pretty cool. Right, so I'm going to tidy this up and start growing some more pumpkin down here. But... The thing we need to do is this. So let's go and round up some stuff. We need some redstone, some iron, and some glass. Now, these are all things that I have uh, around. I've got the, the glass on me, thankfully enough. And I've got redstone kept just over here. And the actual iron should be in the chemical synthesis machine because I've been processing some of the cobble that we have. Uh, it's always nice to have a bit of cobble on standby. Uh, not cobble, uh, elements. Iron in particular is the thing we want to have on standby here. Okay, so we've got two of those and all of those. Right. So I think the servo is one of those in there. Was it these top and bottom? I do believe so. We're going to try that. And there's the servo. All right, brilliant. Now what we need to do is get some tin nuggets. Tin nuggets. This, this should be easy enough. In fact, I think I've got a tin ingot right here. Everything kept close to hand. That's, that's kind of what we need here. Right, genius. Augmented summoning. Let's just run around and pop it in here. Oh no, where does this go? I believe augmentation. Okay, well, if we put that there. Okay, now we should hopefully have a way of being able to output. Now there's an orange output. Let's try taking this out over here. I've got somewhere on me. I do not have an axe. All right, well, so I must have broken my axe at some point. Who who knows when that happened, but these things happen. Now, hopefully, yeah, there we go. These things are being pushed across. Infinite cobble has been a cheat way. Well, it's not quite infinite, but it's going quite well. I, I didn't quite see what was on the underside here. Maybe we could put the chest underneath. I'm not sure if it would open then. The only reason this chest opens now is because it's got this fence on top. We all sort out something for that, but... Another thing that we that I need to do, talking of storage, you will see here that I have got 1,024 magnesium oxides. Now, I also happen to have a few more magnesium oxide in my inventory here, but that's because I can't, I can't put it in there, guys. I can't, I can't do it. So I think we'll come over here and use one of these, these storage upgrade drawer thingies. Uh, we got these right at the beginning of the quest line. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, a long time ago. Like episode two, episode three, when we first made this stuff. Uh, we've not had reason to upgrade since, but now... Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Uh, we could have done that with the oxygen, but as we had the cash just lying around, I mean, that, that, that seemed like the appropriate one to use. Okay, so next thing I wish to talk to you guys about is up here. 
And I've had a lot of suggestions for what I should do up here. Some people have said that I should get uh, a fort on the go. Oh, hello, mate. Yeah, how's it going? Some people are saying I should build a skyscraper with a penthouse on top. Uh, I'm not going to do that one because I did that in a multiplayer server that I was playing, uh, like, not that long ago. Um, so uh, I've done that recently, so I'm not going to do that. The fort, I don't know. I, I should imagine the fort needs to be actually a lot bigger than this. This just kind of feels like a keep. So I think we're going to go for some sort of, I don't know if we're going to go for a factory or a multi-level multi-level nasty place. I, I, I don't know. But we are going to have to try and get some, wall, uh, some windows and stuff in here and put a floor down. The floor... I kind of want to carry on this half slab theme, but I'm not. I'm not liking the idea of carrying on with the jungle wood. The jungle wood seems to be sort of transition space. If you see what I'm saying, it kind of leads you around, uh, up and down. Like I, I would like to change this, maybe bring this marble out so that it, it continues just being this transition thing. Uh, so I think I would like to do something else here. Now I have got two considerations. One is that I don't want to overload this place with stone brick. So I don't want to just like smear out a load of stone brick on the floor because I don't think that would look great. Uh, but I would kind of like to do some birch. Unfortunately, out of all the trees that I've grown over there, birch is one that I've not synthesized. So we're, we're going to have to do that. If we don't do birch, uh, I've been looking at this for a little bit now. Uh, we do have a range of other slabs. I mean, we've got marble slab downstairs. This limestone kind of looks interesting. It's sort of a grey one. Uh, I do believe we actually have some other limestones around. Uh, obviously, you can't make slabs with it. Um, so I'm thinking one of these. Let's go and get some of this limestone. We'll go and breed up some, uh, some birch. We're not going to breed up some birch, actually. We need to do some science. Uh, now, the science is going to involve their NEI down here. Pull up the birch. Uh, birch sapling. There's two birch sap silver birch sapling from forestry. Can we make that with the... No, we can't. That's a shame. It's going to take bees and stuff to do that. So we need some chlorophyll and some cellulose. No actual colouring or anything. I thought we might have to throw some... Uh, uh, not magnesium, but silicon dioxide in there for this. But no, okay, so we need two chlorophyll and a cellulose. Okay, we can do this. Inventory getting super full now. Uh, this does kind of happen. Two chlorophyll, which I believe is this one. One, two, and a cellulose. You know, I'm going to get another. We'll, we'll, we'll get some get some real breeding on the go, shall we? All right, let's pull that out there. One of those and two of them. Okay, brilliant. Uh, okay, I'm going to have myself a kip, round up some materials, and I will see you back here, of course, when we're going to do some uh, floor designs and some windows, I think, because we've got some space for here, and we've got some space for here, and that's in a in a rock face, so we'll, we'll figure something else. Maybe a fireplace? Which I think looks quite nice. Uh, it was a lot of work getting all this brick together. Uh, if we have a look in my chemist journal here, brick is made out of this kalinonite? I think I put too many O's in there. But it comes from this stuff, which unfortunately is made from all this, which... All in all is not too much trouble, but this silicon, I did not realise how much silicon we do not get from cobblestone. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and let it go through all the different things, but silicon, I went through, I don't know, six or seven stacks of cobble and got maybe six bits of silicon out of, so that, that was a lot of work to do that. Uh, but I kind of like how it's turned out. Thing to note up top there, the uh, their panels, not... Uh, not not actual full blocks. Uh, we've got some nice carpenters barriers giving a little bit, bit of definition here. Uh, and the other thing is, I think I built it one block too low. I think we're going to have to shunt it up because I've been doing a lot of looking around at what I think works well with the walls here. Uh, these are the two limestone textures that I was thinking about. This one, super rough. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. This one, not quite as rough, but I just, I don't feel it goes as well with sort of the surround that we've got uh, so out of the birch and sandstone which turned out to be something else we could do i think sandstone is the winner at least for this uh at least for a border and then we could put a design in the middle of some description but those of you that have been paying attention to my map will know that we had a little bit of trouble whilst I was sorting out all that stuff. While I was growing birch over there, uh, there was a spider following me around. I was like, oh, I'll just go stand in the cage and let the spider kill himself on the side of the thing. Uh, from that, we got a spawn spider egg, which uh, very interesting, very interesting. But a ninja skeleton? I don't know where he came from, but he ended up being right here. And he shot the, the blooming everything out of me. Uh, just 
I, I didn't even know where he was. I tried to go down the ladder, but obviously he was shooting and knocking me backwards. I just, uh, it, was a, it was just a feedback loop of all-round nastiness. So it is time to observe the period of mourning. We're going to uh, make the, the long walk over to our graveyard down this way. I have already dug out some of the area. Oh, I may have forgotten to pick up some, some dirt, but that's okay. We, we will make do. Uh, over there, the undertakers have been hard at work. Dug, dug me out a two meter deep pit so here here is the hole in the ground for my last body uh, I've got some I've got some chests there we go we're gonna do that so here is the uh, grave plate that, that I got killed by and we're also going to retire this pumpkin because obviously uh, I died it wasn't great uh, I did bring over a flower and a headstone unfortunately I forgot to bring the dirt with me no, not that way oh, oh. disrespectful disrespectful look at that I forgot to um, get the dirt hang on a sec inventory magic some amazing look at that okay and now we take a moment bow our heads take a take a small moment silence to remember the past life that was me to went on and thought he could take on a spider only to find out there was a skeleton waiting for him. All right, that's enough of that. Let's get back to what we were doing. So, a recurring problem that I keep having is that little bit over there. Oh, wow, he is good. Is that little bit over there. It keeps storing up zombies, uh, not zombies, skeletons for me. And it's never just normal skeletons. It's always these guys that hang about this. See how quick he's firing off there? That's not normal skeleton, right? And the worst thing is, I don't know if these guys are the ones that regenerate or not. I was just fighting a, uh, a zombie that regenerated, and that, that was no good. Okay, let's move him for the sword kill. Ooh, a Gatling skeleton. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, well, I have done some things up top here. If we go and have a look. I don't seem to be able to run for some reason. Look at my beautiful floor. Isn't it amazing? I found this off the internet. Um, it, it was just a beautiful pattern. I literally put uh, Minecraft plank floor pattern in. And this was the first thing that came up on Google. And I was like, yes, I love it. I love it. Uh, of course, we have a little bit to find out. Um, something to find out, sorry. I would like to actually set a real fire here. I, I don't think this is close enough to set up. No, we got like two blocks clear and I'm pretty sure it's just the little three by three around whichever source of fire there is that will set on fire so I think we're okay there uh, while we're at it a question to you the commenters particularly uh, Landstrider I'm looking for something like netherrack that burns when you set fire to it but doesn't get consumed that obviously isn't netherrack because netherrack does all sorts of horrible things to your sanity and that's that's not what I want I, I would like a nice clean burning fuel source if at all possible I mean I could just feed logs in there and stuff like that but I, I that's, that's not what I want to do okay what I want to do right now though is to finish off this quest here now I inadvertently managed to do half the quest by doing the integrated servo mechanism uh, I wanted just to get the cobble out of the machine. Turns out I needed to do that for a quest. The next one is to get this integrated modular framework going. Now, I will admit right now, before I even build this, I have no idea what this does. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to go look on the internet to find out. But it is for this quest, so we're just going to do it for the quest. Uh, so if we come into the NEI and go augment, uh, I've not actually had a look at it yet, so I, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do here. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can. Oh, this is easy. Okay, let's come over here. Let's uh, grab ourselves some gold. That's silver, of course, and here is gold. Do I want a whole stack? I just want like 16 bits, right? Okay, 16 gold in there gives us that one. Brilliant. And we should have some tin in here. Biggity bam, job's done. Now, what does this actually do? I'm going to go find out if I can kind of just put it in the augment and see what happens. Uh huh. Ah, uh, I was hoping it was this. I really was hoping. So this means that I can configure what the um, what out what outputs, what inputs from which side. Uh, you can see we've got the the coloured borders around these things. Like this is blue, this is blue, this is red, and this is orange. Now I only care about the oranges because they're the outputs. So I want to make sure that the one on the back is an orange, which it is. Cool. So when we get some uh, get some pipe on the go, we should be able to feed it straight back into this and then we we want that to then output over there but i think we're gonna need tesseracts or something for that okay with that quest done let's pick ourselves a reward i don't know what we get a block of iron the secondary reception coil i don't know what that does 
Do you reckon that's going to be the one that I need? Oh, you know what? I'm going to pick it anyway just because in almost every quest line that I've been playing through, I've been like, I don't need these things that I don't know about. And they can, like, I don't know, the uh, iron reward, say. Uh, and then ended up needing it next time. So I'm going to take it this time, not even knowing what I need it for. All right, cool. I think we're going to carry on with some, some quests here. Uh, in particular, the better furnace. Uh, I would like to get on to the alloy smelter. It is definitely where we need to go. You're going to give me obsidian. Are you kidding me? As a reward, you're going to give me some obsidian. The thing that I... Oh, I th look, I threw my book away in rage. The thing that I am surrounded with... <sighs> well, let, let's have a look. Alloy smelter, right? Let's Let's try and figure this out. Well, it's not cheap. That that's the uh, the the up shot up shot of this. Blocks of iron, furnaces, machine frame. We should have the machine frame and the cauldron. Maybe we've got a machine frame. We can make a cauldron, but we've got two blocks of iron here. I mean, I have been making a lot of iron. Let let's see how much we have got. Well, it turned out I had to wait forever to get enough power in this thing to get all the bits I needed. Uh, do I have enough? 25. That's perfect. Okay, so to make the alloy smelter, I needed a cauldron. Uh, I also needed some furnaces, which I believe I keep back there. Uh, okay, also we needed one of these machine frames and these other two blocks of iron. Here. That should enable us to get into our crafting bench and make the appropriate crafts. Finally, after so many episodes, I think it's been like three episodes of looking for the alloy smelter, we have managed it. Uh, I am going to go for my reward here. Well, going by the same theory that we went by last time, I can make all the redstone, I can make these AB9 clips, I, can, I can't make the heart, but more importantly, these double layered capacitors are awkward. They are really awkward. So I think I'm going to go for that one have a little drive to the music there the other thing that i wanted to oh it's open jetpacks for me jetpacks oh that's completely thrown me off what i was going to do now uh how do we make a jetpack conductive iron jetpack let's let's forget all the things that i was just about to talk to you about and go jetpack because i would love to be able to fly around so much the conductive jet oh, look at all these augmented things uh conductive iron jetpack Wow. Wow. Will you look at this? Particle customizer. That's nice. How do I get a particle customizer? Well, hey, we won't worry about that now. The conductive iron. Now, this is all done in the smeltery. But what is this? The conductive iron thruster? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Will you look at all the bits we have to make? All right. So that was a little little excursion there. The thing that I actually wanted to do was make this uh, vintage audio thing. Before the, all this digital technology, they stored audio on polyvinyl acetate. You found something while digging around that was uh, storing information. You're pretty sure you can transfer it to a record. Uh, and the song is okay to use on YouTube. Okay, brilliant. Uh, well, let's make this blank record thing and see what we can do about it. Okay, so we need some of this plastic sheeting and a tin gear bushing. The plastic sheeting is raw plastic, which is what rubber bar cooked down. Okay, we can do that. And what about this tin bushing? Tin ingots. Okay, we can do that. Okay, so bushings in the middle, plastic around the outside, better record. All right. Now, I have no idea how better records works. We picked up that bushing. Okay. We've got the blank record manually submit. Okay, brilliant. It took it out of my inventory. That's okay. But I'm going to take this. I'm everywhere. Uh, I'm going to take the blank record as well and claim those. Now, of course, to be able to play this, we are going to need some sort of turntable. Uh, you can cobble together a simple device that you can read the audio stored on your recordings. It is pretty crude, but works quite well. Uh, shift right click with an open hand to open and close it. Okay, well, yeah, we know how that works. Uh, so the record player is a relatively easy thing to make. We only need the one. Brilliant. I'll take all those stuff back. Uh, so we've got a record player. I am going to pop it. Ooh, I don't know if it's breakable, so we're going to do that. We're going to lift this up. Oh, nice. And then we've got I'm everywhere. We're going to put this in the background. Oh, I've got to download it first. Okay, here goes. Oh, wow, that's loud. All right, well, that's um, a tune. Uh, whilst we have a look in here, what what uh, reward are we going to pick? Either speaker wire or small speakers. Now, I kind of feel like I need both, uh, but I'm going to go with the speakers this time because I've got a feeling they're a little... Well, actually, let's come out of here and have a look. We've got a studio. Uh, I don't know what the other things are going to be. Maybe, actually, I'm going to take the wire. The speaker, the wire, the speaker, the wire, the speaker. Okay, we did that. 
and we played the tune all over the uh, the breakdown of this. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time where we're going to go and do some things like, I don't know, put a roof on the rear building ahead of us. Going to furnish everything. But I don't know. I will see you next time where we're going to do all of those things and some more.